What was that? Adapted from the Golden Book of the same name. One dark, cold winter night, as the moon came up over the Bear family's cabin, Wise Owl fluttered down and perched on her favorite branch of the old oak tree. There she spent most evenings keeping watch over the little bears who lived in the cabin. She was joined in this nightly watch by her forest friends, White Rabbit, Field Mouse, and Rough and Tumble Raccoon, who would often peek in the window of Baby Bear's bedroom to see that Baby Bear was safely in bed for the night. Still not not my dad. Good night, Pummy Dad! Good night, boys. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, little one. Good night, little one. Sweet dreams. Baby Bear snuggled down under the bed covers. He rubbed his little feet together to warm them. Good night. Sweet Right in his room, he heard an eek, and a creak, and a squeak. What was that? Baby Bear skedaddled out of bed, down the hall, and into bed with his big brave brother. What's that? Big brave brother lifted the bed covers to see what was hugging his legs. What are you doing in there? Well, I'm scared. Ten, what? I might be wrong. But probably. Also creak spinny. Well, there's nothing to be played of. What? What was not? Still there now. The rules is for just some little pipe. Then there bends out. Then in case he's wet. <laughs> What's the problem with? He said he when he slid his beard. He down between the patrol. Throw cheat be The creak. Was the sound of Big Red Shrink when he turned the whistle to go? What about the woodcock I can go? The cheesy, you see, the sweet was mother's door saying good night. I seek to eat, you know. Well, now the dad can take the mother blowing the candle. Yes. Then did she kiss him good night? Yes. <laughs> now. To go out the play look to Baby Miss. They both snuggled down under the covers and rubbed their little feet together to warm them. My big brother. Good luck, little Good night, little Time to go to sleep. A child to have a Then they shut their eyes to go to sleep, and all was quiet for a while. Then, deep in the wall, they heard a tap, and a rap, and a snap. What was that? They skedaddled out of bed, down the hall, <laughs> as fast as they could skedaddle, and into bed with the biggest brave brother bear. Who that? Who oh. to? We got a tap on that. Can a snap too? Hi, 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 guy. There's nothing to be of. Those are yours. They all look at all of us. Little spiders. Of course. Little shadow, little shadow. The two little bear brothers moved closer to their big brother. What was that? What? Tap. Hold that tap. Well, that little spider saw us when interested brushing his teeth. And was tapping louder off his toothbrush. The trap! The rap! What's the sound of his hairbrush? Bed down on the dress on the shovel, she's so black. Oh, she said, that's a genetic. 
And the snap. The snap? The snap of it being told I off my mother when she came to talk him in and said tonight. Wow! Did she just annoy him? That's right. Now let's go to sleep so, so we won't wake him up. You will! So all three bear brothers snuggled down under the covers. They rubbed their little feet together to warm them. Then Baby Bear and Big Brother Bear and Biggest Brave Brother Bear shut their eyes to go to sleep. Everything was dark and quiet again. And then way down under the floor came a bump and a thump and a clump. What was that? They all skedaddled out of bed, Whoa. down the hall, Whoa. into bed with their mama and papa. Oh my! What was that? Mama and Papa Bear lifted the bed covers to find the three little bears huddled together deep down under the covers near their feet. Whatever is the matter? We heard a bump under the floor. And a plop. And a what? And we decided this is the sad size. And the place. And the best. Baby Bear cuddled up next to his mother. She held him close and patted his little head. Why? There's nothing to be frightened of. Then what was that bump? That bump? That bump was a little bug taking off his shoes, getting ready for bed, just the way you do. He let one of his shoes drop with a bump on the hard dirt floor. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Yes, but what does bump? That thump, that thump was the little bug thumping up his pillow. His pillow? Mm-hmm. To make it nice and comfortable. But did we mention a clump? I have a clump, too. Of course you did. That was the little bug's picture book hitting the floor. You see, the little bug's mother had already told him good night five times. My tights! Mm-hmm. Mm, maybe six. But instead of going to sleep, he began looking at his picture book, just like you. <laughs> then he heard his mother coming back to check on him. Oh, oh no! No, no! So he threw the book to the floor with a clump, squeezed his eyes shut, and hurried and went to sleep. Whew. You'll probably hear him snoring any minute now. Why? Shh! I never hear the bug suing for. They all listened very hard, but instead of a bug snoring, they heard Mama's voice. All bugs and bears should be asleep in their own beds. Skedaddle back to bed now and go to sleep. Besides, this bed is too full. The next morning at breakfast, Mama Bear served oatmeal steaming hot from the pot. Such a night! Why, I thought that wind would never stop howling. Me too! Baby Bear began tapping the table with his spoon, anxious to taste the oatmeal. Mama always filled the smallest bowl first. And then, right there in the kitchen, they heard a ping. And a pang. And a pong. What was that? <laughs> That was my stone wacky. Hi. Nope. You know what that sound was? No daddy plus attack. Yes, daddy. What, what was that? Okay, father, what was that? And that was the sound of hammers. All the little mice and all the little spiders and all the little bugs are fixing my broken bed. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Daddy. Thank you.